Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Are you struggling to power your network devices efficiently? Wondering whether PoE extender or PoE switches are the way to go? Today in this video, we'll break down the differences between PoE extender and PoE switches, giving you the knowledge you need to make an informed decision. From understanding the basics to practical application, we've got you covered. And if you're facing technology challenges, seeking expert guidance, or craving innovative solutions, look no further. Our solution page here is your gateway to a world of technology brilliance. You can fill it through the link down in the description box below, and your solutions are just a click away. In an increasingly connected world, the importance of PoE solution cannot be overstated. PoE technology has revolutionized the way we power and connect our devices, ushering in an era of greater efficiency and flexibility in network setup. But what's even more intriguing is the choice between two powerful PoE solutions, PoE extender and PoE switches. And it is a comparison that holds the key to optimizing your network infrastructure and enhancing connectivities. So first, let's talk about the PoE extender, then we'll move on to the PoE switches. Now, the Power over Ethernet extender are innovative devices designed to amplify and extend both power and data signal over the Ethernet cable. They bridge the gap between power sourcing equipment and power devices, ensuring that the network connectivity and power can reach locations that would otherwise be beyond the typical cable length limitation. And the primary advantage of PoE extender is their ability to push the boundaries of traditional Ethernet cable links. That's about 328 feet, 100 meters. And also grant unparalleled flexibility when it comes to the placement of power devices. PoE extenders are greatly used in large warehouses, outdoor deployment, manufacturing facility, and remote offices. So here we have some of the PoE extender, and I'm going to introduce them. First, let's talk about our classic outdoor PoE extender. This extender is IP67 waterproof rated, which is ideal for outdoor application. It can prevent rain, dust, you can even bury it under the ground. All you need to do is use a wrench to fasten up the neck and the gland tightly and also support 100 megabit per second data transfer rate and compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. Support 60 watts of power. And it does not need any complicated configuration because it offers plug and play installation and extend PoE run over 100 meters. It has a unique design where you can connect them together just like this and you can chain up the PoE extender and get a very clean and neat setup. And actually with two of them, which is our Ethernet extension kit, you can achieve up to 1,500 feet, that is 300 meters, uninterrupted continuous PoE run between those two extenders. All you need to do is place one at both sides, and then you'll get nothing else in between, only the Ethernet cable. And next, let me introduce you to our 95 watt two port waterproof PoE extender. It's equipped with one PoE in and two PoE output port, support up to 30 watts and 60 watts output power, and up to 1000 megabit per second Ethernet data transmission. It is also IP67 waterproof rated with aluminum vandal proof. And the working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees, which is also ideal for harsh environment. Last but not least, we have this outdoor BT PoE extender. Now, this extender allows one PoE in and two PoE out as well. And also, you can extend your range beyond 100 meters with gigabit Ethernet and 30 watts of high power output for each port. So now let's talk about the PoE switches. 
They're intelligent networking devices that combines the functionality of standard network switches with the capability to deliver both power and data over Ethernet cable to connected devices, provide a centralized and efficient solution for powering and connecting PoE-enabled devices. The advantage of PoE switch is their centralized power management capability. They allow network administrator to control and allocate power to connected devices from a single interface, making it easier to monitor and troubleshoot devices remotely. So PoE switches are commonly used in office setting, retail and hospitality, smart building, and healthcare facility to enhance energy efficiency and control. So now let me introduce you to some of our PoE switches. First one up here is our compact 5 port 90 watts BTPoE++ switch. It has total 180 watts power budget and supply up to 90 watts of power output in maximum and 1000 megabit per second that the transfer rate. It has 4 PoE output port and 1 Ethernet uplink port. Next, this is our 8-port WebSmart PoE switch with 2 gigabit SFP slot. It suits enterprise network to build secure PoE system with central management on power and data to supply various IP devices. And also equipped with powerful traffic management, QS over MAC addressing filter, and VLAN capabilities. The SFP slots are for long distance, high bandwidth, and low latency fiber optic link, and it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard. Supply up to 30 watts of power output per port and total power budget of 120 watts. And last but not least, we have our 8 port 2.5G PoE switch with 10G uplink. It can provide a cost effective solution to increase your network's throughput and provide up to 90 watts of output power for 2.5G devices. Also provide up to 60 gigabit per second of switching capacity. It is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. Total power budget of 240 watts. So now that I'm done introducing both PoE standards and PoE switches, to make an informed choice between them, start by thoroughly assessing your network's net unique requirement. Consider the network size, power requirement, distance limitation, and budget constraint. Then conduct a side-by-side -side comparison of the PoE extender and PoE switches based on your evaluation. PoE extender is suitable for extending distance while PoE switches can support multiple devices at the same time. And you should determine which solution best address your network's challenge and provide the required power and data extension capabilities. You can also research real-world examples and case studies that resemble your network setup and challenges. Remember, you can always visit our solution page or just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below, and our expert will get back to you as soon as possible. So without saying, let's do a connection utilizing both PoE switch and the PoE extender. So today we are connecting a bully camera and a wireless SS point. Between, we are using this two port PoE extender and 200 meters ethernet cable in total. And we are utilizing the WebSmart PoE switch. Now let's do the connection. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router and the network video recorder to display video footage from the bullet camera. Then using another Ethernet cable to connect with our WebSmart PoE switch. And then using this 100 meters Ethernet cable to connect with it. Over this side, we are using this PoE extender. It has a special mounting tool allows you to mount it on a DIN wheel wherever you want. This is the PoE input port. Let's plug in the Ethernet cable from our WebSmart PoE switch you'll see the indicated light is on instantly. And then I'm going to use this 100 meters ethernet cable and the other ethernet cable connected to the wireless SS point. Let me see. OK. 
Okay. Plug it in here. 100 meters Ethernet cable connecting with the bullet camera. And the other Ethernet cable is already connected to our wireless access point. And we are getting the indicated lights, so they are both getting power and data at the same time. As we can see, our bullet camera is displaying video footage already. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole collection is pretty simple, right? So here are some more tips on the additional information. Make sure you monitor and manage power consumption to optimize your energy usage and network stability. And also not all PoE devices are created equally. So ensure your PoE extender or PoE switch is compatible with the specific device that you tend to power by checking the compatibility with PoE standard. And if your network consists various devices with different roles and security requirements, you should consider implementing network segmentation using the managed PoE switch with VLAN configuration to enhance your network performance. And if you are interested, here is a video about the VLAN capabilities. Thank you very much for watching us. I'll see you next time.